Hey, what's up, YouTube? So this is the other guy. As you have been following me, I recently bought this set of tools, and I've been putting it to great use, okay? And this is what I discovered about this set of tool right here. And there are strength and there are weakness to this set of tools. Sometimes its strength can become its weakness. And that goes with every other tools, you know. Uh, no set of tools is superior in every aspect of its uh, use. So, this is my Craftsman set. Um, bought it a long time ago. It's made in the USA. Okay, I love this. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, scratch on it. That's because I uh, use I, I I put it to great use, and um, I've been using it so sheesh for a very very long time, and it hasn't failed me. I love it okay so um but I bought this set to complement this set because I know that there are certain things this set cannot do that this set can do so that's what I did I'm, I'm not buying this set because it's superior to this set but I'm bu buying this set so that it'll complement this set and vice versa okay and um, there will be situations where this set can do certain things this set can't do and this set will can do a certain thing this set can't do. And as you can see here, I have some um, other brand like this older brand right here. Uh, just a regular box and and uh, made in the USA. Okay. And uh, so, but I'm not talking about those regular box and I'm talking about these type of ratcheting ends. So, hey, listen, I'm going to do a review on this real quick. If you're interested, please follow me. Uh, like and subscribe if you, see, if you find this video informational to you, okay? So, let's get on with the uh, pros and cons about this tool set versus this tool set, okay? Okay, so you might ask, okay, so what's the pros and cons about the Tecton set? And what's the pros and cons about the regular retreating box end set, like the Craftsman here? Okay, and I can tell you this. With this one, being that the box end is a 12-point end, there is 1 in 12 chance that it'll go into here with, without much uh, adjustment of your angle here. Okay, what I meant is this angle. So, 1 in 12 chance that it would just go in, slide in without much adjustment. See see how it went in like that? It didn't, it didn't fit. And I just moved it a little bit and then it went in, fits. Okay. And so, let's look at the 12 point. You see this? It goes in here and it doesn't fit. Watch this. Watch the adjustment, the angle adjustment to make it fit. See this? It goes all the way here. And there you go it fits okay so um that is the disadvantage of the six point however with this disadvantage it could become a advantage as well once it's placed in snugly you could apply torque to it knowing that you will not round off the fastener here whereas this one right here sure it goes in but if you apply if you apply too much torque to it you will round off the fastener here and so that's the strength and weakness of this design okay and that's the strength and weakness of this design okay so what about the flex head okay the ability to bend up and down like that i love this because it's of the flex head it can bend up and down at certain angle okay that's what's good about it however What's bad about it is that it can bend up and down at odd <laughs> angles. And this is the reason why. Supposedly, suppose you're working at a tight space. You see this, it's got no lock. So it just flops back and, back and forth like this. Supposedly, you're working at an odd angle or somewhere where you cannot reach this bolt because it's so tight. With, And so you have to go in with this one and see this. If you apply too much pressure, it doesn't go in. It bends like that. See? So, you know, Tecton, if you're listening to this, 
it would be great if you could upgrade this a little bit and put a lock device on it so that it does not go to and fro like this I mean the flex I, I like the fact that it's a flex head but it'd be more advantageous if you put a lock on it so that you could lock it at a certain angle and go in and do its job see it won't go see see how it's kind of difficult here watch okay so you have to maneuver this okay so now it's in okay and so that's the pros and that's the con its weakness can become its strength and its strength can become its weakness that's what I discovered here okay see this it won't go in I have to move it at a certain um, angle to make it fit whereas this right here 12, 12 point goes in and goes in like that okay now another thing okay you see the thickness of of this area here right here okay where the hole here is where the where the, the six point here be, starts right here and the the outer the inner the inner six point and the outer six point or the box the inner box <laughs> end and the outer box end you see uh it's thicker here than the craftsman and i'll see i'll show you see this the craftsman will go into little tight spot like this see that it'll go in and it'll do its job okay it, it'll go in okay whereas this one right here good luck it won't go in and the reason is because of the thickness the thickness of uh, the box in here okay from the from from eyeballing you can't tell much of a difference but see this it won't go in see it will not go in see it'll go in but then it just grabs it at a little little tiny bit of a metal here and see it it's it's and see you see how it's not grabbing instead it's just flip flopping so um so this tool right here although it's really good in what what it's designed for it's not really good in tight spots and here it is this thing right here just grabs okay so um that's the advantage of this of this over this I, I realize I'm comparing apples to oranges, okay? However, um, I'm just showing you the advantage of this and the disadvantage of this, the strength and weakness of it, and so that you'll know, okay? So, um, another thing that I discovered, okay, is that if you have a very tight spot that you have to go to, um, and you're sticking this into a tight spot, you can't put a lot of pressure onto the head here the reason is because it flexes back and forth like this okay and and what it is is because it's it is a six point your aim at fitting it onto the six point here has to be accurate okay very very accurate or else it won't go in and so that's the pros and that's the con of it so um that's why I said earlier that I bought this set to complement this set because there are certain things that this set can do that this set can't do and vice versa okay this isn't superior to that and that isn't superior to this so um, it's always good to have extra tools for certain um, jobs so anyway uh, that's uh, my review I just wish that Tecton would um, make it so that this end right here can lock the flex head and also instead of making it um, only six point maybe they could do this they can make one side a 10 millimeter six point and the other side a 10 millimeter 12 point you know 612 612 so that you can have the option of just putting it in versus not being able to go in and having to swivel at a certain degree in order to get a catch okay so um this is my review of the tecton tool um, i hope that you find it interesting if you find it informational to you please like and subscribe 
um, I'm not trying to put this tool down. I love this tool, okay? And uh, I love the fact that once it grabs into your bolt, you're confident that you're not going to round it off. And it works just like a regular socket, okay? And uh, like, like, like a reg regular uh, six-point socket, knowing that it's not going to round off. And that's that, guys. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are.